and good morning and welcome to launch day <laughs> it's launch day it is the launch day vlog i am up pretty early to go for a walk to go for a walk where i'm actually gonna wear a hoodie i've been wearing this hoodie every morning so far this week it is 57 degrees outside <laughs> i'm so excited it's only 70 degrees in my apartment. The last few mornings I've been able to get it down to like 68, 69, but it warmed up to about 79 degrees yesterday and it's going back up to around 79 today. And then over the weekend it's going up to around 81, 82. But then it cools back down again and right now on my watch, on my 10 day forecast, we've got two 66 degree days coming up next week. So I'm hoping this will be the last week that I have to be turning my air conditioning on. And I'm hoping I can at least like be turning it off for a little bit at night, but it's getting there. It is getting there. I haven't vlogged the last few days other than the behind the scenes publishing vlog, which will have gone up two videos ago. So I was filming behind the scenes of everything getting ready for the launch, including hitting publish on the book. So I have to publish that vlog when I get back from my walk and also publish the newsletter for official launch day. So I've already sent everyone on the email list a letter when the book went live, but I want to do something else for official launch day. So I need to publish those pretty much at the same time because the email contains a link to the video. So I'll do that when I get home. I also need to get myself cleaned up <laughs> and film the Q and A video that I want to put up on Friday. I didn't get that filmed yet. So I need to do that. But I am also in the middle of conference week for work. So for those who are new here, I'm a full-time writing instructor at a university. And so I'm teaching, I'm doing individual stu Zoom, individual student conferences on Zoom for my business writing students for my hybrid classes. So it's, it's three sections. It's only three sections of students, but that's still about 73 students that I have. And I've already seen probably about 60 of them. So I'm down to like the last 13 or 15, 13, 14, 15 students today and tomorrow. And yeah, so Monday was the busiest. Tuesday, well, Tuesday I think was slightly busier than Monday because I went a little bit later. Um, both Monday and Tuesday I went from 10 to 5 and then 10 to 5 30 yesterday with conferences with an hour break but still it's a lot yesterday i still was logged on by 10 because i had office hours and still went until i think i went until about five o'clock yesterday so yesterday was a long day but with office hours it was a long time on zoom but not as many conferences if that makes sense so today i have an 11 a.m log on start for office hours and then office hours lunch break then conferences lots of conferences until about five o'clock so i need to go for my walk get myself ready and try to film this video before 11 o'clock and eat something for breakfast because I can feel I'm already a bit hungry. But I wanna go for my walk first. So we will go do that. I will take you guys with me. It has been absolutely beautiful out so far this week. And yeah, then we'll come back and get on with launch day. It's not gonna be that exciting. I'm, like, I'm just sitting here working at my desk, but I'm gonna be doing lots of stuff around work posting on social media and stuff like that. And I always like vlogging launch days. So that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, let's go for a walk.
Okay, I'm back. I'm home. I am in office hours are in progress. I'm just going over my launch day <laughs> task list. So I have gone for my walk, I have done my hair and makeup, I have filmed the q and I have published the video and published the email. So yeah, so now I need to, in between office hours and working and all of that, I've already had two students come to office hours. Um, I've got conferences that will start at 2 p.m. So I've got office hours from 11 to 1, then I have a lunch break from 1 to 2, so I'm gonna to try to do some work, some like social media stuff then, but I do wanna post a couple quick things um, and then I'll get back to teaching work. I still need to do all of the posting, so I need to import the footage for the Q&A video, because I need to edit that later, and then I still need to post to my stories and my main grid and post on Facebook and Twitter and everything. Yeah, still have all of that to do, but that stuff that I wanted to be doing scattered throughout the day anyway, so I'm I'm on track. I'm like good. And then yeah, I'm just trying I'm trying to relax and enjoy and have a nice launch day and like celebrate all of this while also working so that's going to be the challenge um, but I do have some work to do throughout office hours so I need to get to that so I'm going to stop talking because I'm like so distracted I've got the windows open for now but um, I have turned the AC back on so it's really just this one window that's still open and as soon as the AC kicks on I'll close this window because the balcony is starting to heat up the sun's coming around I'm gonna have to close the windows at some point but right now it's beautiful and I'm wearing a new sweater that I got from Amazon it's an Amazon essentials sweater but it is 100% cotton and it is actually like it's not like crazy soft but it is soft like it's not scratchy like it feels like nice cotton so I got this really pretty they call it caramel but it's more of like a faded burnt orange perfect for fall and I think I want to order a couple more sweaters because it actually is really really nice so wearing my new sweater for launch day so yeah I'm gonna get back to work and I will check with you guys in a little while almost 10 to 2 which is when my conference start back up again I've had lunch so I have I have been fed <laughs> but oh gosh you guys I am it has been a long week it's just been a long week it's been a good week it has been a good week but it has been a very long week and I am so ready for the weekend just gonna check on things. I've had some people say that they've ordered their copies today, but I think they're ordering, I think a lot of people are ordering paperbacks, <laughs> which is great. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. But paperbacks don't show up on the sales dashboard until they ship, so often what ends up happening is I don't have that many sales or I don't see that many sales on launch day because they don't show up for a couple days. But I have posted everything online, but I'm getting lots of lovely comments, which is very nice. I'm just feeling like this sense of, not I don't, like relief isn't the right word, but like kind of relief in a way. Like at this point, I really have done everything 
that has to be done. Like I can keep posting some stories and I'll post stories and, and stuff on Instagram over the next few days and I've got the vlog to edit or the video, the Q&A that I filmed this morning. I need to edit that. So when I'm done talking to you guys, I think I'm going to import that footage. Like all the initial posts have been made. Everyone knows now or like it's visible on all of my platforms that it's live. It's well, not that it's live, but that it's launch day. It's out. I've had a couple of people. I had one person today say that you know they were able to buy it a couple days ago. And I'm like, yeah, it's been live, but today's the official launch day. And then I've had a couple people from the email list comment on some of my recent posts saying that they got it. And someone has already rated it on Amazon. It already has a five star rating. Very happy about that, but no reviews. There's no reviews posted yet, but it has gotten a rating. So whoever that was, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's nice to have at least one five-star rating on launch day. Um, and that's what I hope for when I make the book available early to the email list. So yeah, it's, Oh, it's just, it is a relief that it's out. And like this morning in between office hours and everything, I was just a lot of frantically posting on the social media, but all of the initial posts are done. And now I really can kind of relax. So I just need to get that video edited. Hopefully it won't take too long to edit that. And then I'll edit and upload that this afternoon. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight conferences and then a break and then my last three conferences. So I've got 11 conferences total today. So it's still a lot, but it's not as bad as the last few days have been. The last few days have been really intense. So today I'm just, I won't lie, I'm barely holding myself together. <laughs> I'm just, I am a whole other level of tired today, but I think it's just the excitement of launch day that's keeping me going today because oof, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm really, really done. So yeah, launch day is going well. I'm having a good time. I'm just very, very tired. I feel like launch day is like the end of the marathon for a book. And so you want to celebrate and you want to have fun, but you're also really, really tired and don't have the energy to do that much celebration. So yeah, that's, that's where that is. I now need to get Zoom turned on. I've got a conference starting in two minutes. I might light a candle. I, might, I should light the applewood and amber candle in honor of the book. So I've still got a little bit left in there, you can see. So now this will just become my fall candle to burn for the rest of the fall because the book's done. So here's, here's the candle lit for launch day. Yeah, I've got a fall themed lo-fi playlist playing on YouTube. I just mute my computer when a conference starts but that's been keeping me company in between everything and i'm just keeping an eye on social media and and whatnot but it's a good day it's a good launch day i'm just so happy that it's out and that this book is now done it moves into kind of management and marketing like just managing the marketing and, and selling it but the hard work as far as like stuff i actually have to do is done
so done for the day. <laughs> I'm done a little early. It's not quite five. My 445 conference came in a couple minutes early and then we didn't take that long. So it's about 10 till. I also, by some miracle, <laughs> managed to get the video for tomorrow edited, which is fantastic. I want to relax. My brain is just, it's, it's spinning out. Like I can't, I can't think straight <laughs> anymore. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know who I am. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know anything right now. Probably talk to you guys tomorrow. I think I'm going to vlog tomorrow as well, but, but I literally can't think straight. So I'm going to stop for today. I don't think it's wise for me to continue talking in the vlog today so we will chat more tomorrow i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my evening off duty off work everything's done everything's uploaded everything's posted the book is out y'all are gonna buy it if you want to buy it there's not much i can do about that tonight so i'm gonna go order some dinner and relax because i literally don't think i can do anything else <laughs> all right um it is just about 3 30. i'm almost done with conferences i my 315 student just didn't bother to show up so we'll see if i get an email from them my last student isn't until 4 45 but yeah i had a lovely walk went to physical therapy I had to go to UPS to drop off an Amazon return, CVS to pick up a prescription, Whole Foods to do my food shopping for the week, and also to um, return another item for Amazon. And then you'll have seen it in a clip, but guess who I ran into at Whole Foods? I got to see my mom. It was really nice. I got there. She, I didn't think she was going this week. I drove down to park and I saw a white SUV and I was just kind of ignoring it. But then I saw that it had a blue TARDIS decal on the back window. Then also recognized the license plate and realized it's mom's car. So I immediately texted her because it was like, it was just past 11 by the time I got there. And she usually likes to get there at like, 9 30 or 10 so that she's gone before 
it gets too late in the afternoon so I thought oh she might be like almost done and about to leave so I texted her really quick and was like where are you in Whole Foods don't leave <laughs> so I went in I got my return done really quick grabbed my cart and then just didn't start my shopping right away just started going up and down just started going along the aisles to try to see if I could find her and I did got to see her we did a little bit of our shopping together and then we checked out together and walked back to our cars together since we were parked right next to each other so I got to see mom today it was really nice we haven't done our whole food shopping together pretty much since the semester started because I just can't there's really no morning that I can go as early as she usually likes to go um, she had some other appointments to do today so that's why she was there a little bit later than she normally would yeah we got to see each other and have a little bit of a whole food shop together and it was really nice to see her so that was lovely and then raced home stopped by my p.o box to check my p.o box it was empty and then came home put my groceries away jumped in the shower washed my hair i've been doing like full hair and makeup pretty much every day this week for conferences but today i'm just i'm in cozy clothes i've just blow dried my bangs the rest of my hair is still quite damp and I've only put on mascara, so just really couldn't be bothered today <laughs> at all. So yeah, I've still got another like hour and a half of work I'm going through my email and replying to students who have sent me papers via Google Docs. So looking at their second drafts, they also still need to grade and review the second drafts that have been submitted on canvas i've got the roses that i bought at whole foods next to me and i'm burning the applewood and amber candle and watching a youtube video have that playing in the background while i work i'm going to get back to the video get back to work hope these last couple students show up and then we'll try to do a little bit of writing before dinner It is 5.15. I have done no writing this week except for Monday. Somehow on Monday I managed to write a thousand words after 23 or 24 conferences. I was feeling really good on Monday, I guess. I don't know. I do not feel that good today. So I have done... 491 words and I'm gonna stop there. It's kind of like either I stop here or I finish the whole chapter. <laughs> so I've kind of written the setup of the final scene of the final chapter of Project Royal Romance. I will finish it tomorrow. It's just this last chapter in the epilogue and I will get that done this weekend. I will definitely get this done this weekend. I am currently at 30, 132,686 words. I'm getting there. It will be done by Monday night for sure. If not by the end of the, I'm going to aim for by the end of the weekend. Might even be able to get it done tomorrow. It just depends on how much writing I can do tomorrow. I don't want this to spill into Monday because Monday I'll be, you know, it's a work day for me. And then Tuesday, Nano starts, which I kind of hate that it starts on a Tuesday because 
I work all day Tuesday. Like, Tuesdays are my hardest days. I'm just going to have to bring my iPad or something. I don't want to have to carry my laptop with me, but I'm going to have to bring my iPad or something and try to write during my break in between my second and third class. We will talk more about NaNo in the next vlog because I think the next vlog will go up. This vlog is going to go up on Monday, so this will be the last vlog in October, and then the, what I film this weekend will go up on November 2nd. So I guess what you can expect for vlogs during NaNo, the next vlog on November 2nd will be filmed before NaNo, but this weekend I'm going to try to like do all the last things I want to do before NaNo starts. So finish Royal Romance, do some more outlining in Across the Pond, get stuff just set up, fill out my Preptober workbook that I've just ignored all month long, do all of that sort of stuff, and then so it'll be kind of like a pre-nano prep video vlog. And then I'm not going to daily vlog during nano. That would be fun, but I, I daily vlog in December for Vlogmas. I cannot daily vlog two months in a row. It's never gonna happen. Sorry guys. And Vlogmas is the priority for me. So I'm not gonna daily vlog in November, but throughout November I will try to vlog each day my writing sessions, even if I'm not vlogging the rest of that day. So each vlog in November will have a very strong nano focus and it will be very focused on my writing. It'll have other stuff as well. I'll try to vlog each of the writing sessions, even if it's just B-roll, and give you updates on day one, day two, day three, and so on. So in a way, I will be vlogging every day during NaNo. I'm just still going to only be uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday as usual. So I will vlog all of the writing sessions as much as possible. I will vlog my daily writing counts even if it's just showing on like my tracker or something so you will see every day what my writing progress is for NaNo but I'm not going to upload every day. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to stop. I'm going to go heat up my leftovers. I, I ordered an outright feast last night from my favorite Chinese restaurant. For launch day and during conference week, I thought I'd get takeout and I went a little bit nuts. I ordered a ton of food, more than I needed for last night. So I've got leftovers for tonight and tomorrow night for sure. This has been a week, y'all, and I'm just glad I survived. <laughs> I am going to sleep in so hard tomorrow morning. At least I hope I can. I've been watching Love is Blind season two because I just saw season three started so I did never watch season two. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a Netflix night and then go to sleep and I will see you all in the next vlog, in the weekend vlog. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let me know if you've got the book or not, or if it's on your TBR list. You can always add it on Goodreads and buy it later, just so that you don't forget that you're going to read it at some point. I already have three five-star ratings and two reviews. Thank you to all of you who have read it this fast. I have a feeling most of those are from newsletter subscribers who got the jump on it last week. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It just means the world to me that anyone would read my books and enjoy them. So I definitely appreciate it. Our question of the vlog. I guess what is your um, favorite favorite thing to like order for takeout, especially if you're trying to like celebrate? So like last night, going all out, getting a ton of Chinese food for takeout it's definitely my way of celebrating. So do you have a place locally to you or just a certain type of food that you like that is your go-to when you want to celebrate and not have to cook something for yourself? Let me know. For me, it is definitely Chinese food from my local restaurant. That is our question of the vlog. You could also leave some food-related emojis for your favorite foods in the comments if you want to do that. I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye!